going on. I'm Matt. I've been involved in co-op since 2003. Uh, I lived here from 2004 to 2007, and 2007, 2008, I've been living at Eden. And it's a, it's a good place to be, and I don't understand why everyone doesn't live in co-ops. A cooperative is people working to achieve a goal and being part owners in the organization. There's cooperative radio stations, grocery stores, bookstores. There's farmers co-ops where um, farmers try to cut out the middle middleman and sell directly to the consumer. Um, in this, in in our housing cooperative, um, or what some call cooperative living, we cut out the middleman of the greedy real estate agents. We're a nonprofit, um, and we all own the land under which we, resi we reside. One of the unique things about co-ops we have is that you're exposed to people and ideas that you wouldn't normally be associated with or be exposed to. A good example of this would be the open mic nights we've been having in association with the Hill Country Baptist Church. Um, people have contributed everything from beatboxing to full-on bands to jazz trios to um, really funny um, slam poetry to um, something me and Milton did uh, which is playing sitar and tabla uh, and um, it's a really great chance to see all the talents that people have been keeping to themselves all this time and um, it's a good time for us all to get together and just um, have a good time and dedicate an to art. A common theme that you'll find in a lot of co-ops is environmental consciousness. We try to keep it green, we try to have as many flowers and trees and plants as we can and we try not to only live it on the on the outside but on the inside the consciousness. There are gardens, there's fruit trees, there's always a lot of green space. We do, we do recycling as well. Um, we recycle paper, cans, plastic, everything we can. And we have a compost pile. We try to get rid of all our kitchen, stra kitchen scraps by um, mixing it in with, with um, lawn waste and then recycling it in our gardens. So like I said, there's a lot of greenery here. We have plants for tea, plants for um, insect repellent. We have lots of herbs. You can make some pesto right now if you wanted. Um, we have uh, catnip just because it's funny to see cats go crazy. Um, we want to make enough food or en for ourselves that we don't have to buy any product or um, spend any money. We also have a lot of plants for um, for to keep the pests away because we don't like to use pesticides. Um, what you're looking at right now is a painting that I did without any money or labor credit from the house. Um, this is what separates us from an apartment complex or a dorm. Uh, you know, we have, like, we try to, we express our personalities and we're all open with who we are. And um, art is something that everyone deserves. And, um, the, and everyone should be who they are. And, um, Art's a form of expression, and everyone needs to express themselves. And um, this is a great part of the Austin community. Um, it should be conserved. I mean, it's thriving right now, but if it's ever in trouble, the Austin community should come behind it and help save it because this is a culture hearth. I mean, this is where people have come together. So this co-op dates back to 1974. Um, this room is an example of all the accumulated creativity that people have contributed. Um, it shows the contribution and the care that people have put into the place and um, like right here it, it shows the, the whole world obliterated but the 21st Street Co-op still standing and uh, um, I don't know, it's an uh, interesting image. It's really annoying when people reference this as like some hippie commune and uh, you know that we're all flower goddesses or whatever. Uh, <laughs> but the truth is that people from all walks of life live here. I mean, people from all like economic backgrounds and races and w people from all over the world live here. And it's a 
it's awesome. It's going to be a place that we're never going to forget for the rest of our lives. I guarantee you.